Good day, everyone. It's Professor Maple here. We're back uh, playing Grow Home. And today, or well, last time, last time we we uh, made it up to the sort of asteroid belt above the planet here. And today, what I think our goals are right in front of us here. We've got one rock that has a power crystal on it. We've got another that's just like an energy rock, meteoroid thing. We're going to try and get to both today. But first, we need to teleport down. I just want to make sure that I have a fall flower, just in case. And I know that there are some... Oh, come on, I could use this earlier. There we go. I know that there's one there. At Tellerider 4. Feels so weird now. We're, we're nearing the end of the game here. We've got Tellerider 8 set up. Just feels so wrong. Just feels so wrong. Anyway, so we've got our, our, our uh, fall flower there. Let's try and find a nice. Oh, I think the gravity sort of like weakens as we get further from the planet. I think I think that's what happens. Which was subtle. I didn't really notice it till recently. So kudos to the dev to the developers for that. If that's the case. Or kudos to the developers for making it seem like it's the case, if that's not actually the case. Alright, so... Alright. So that's the power crystal. Video is half over already. <laughs> I'm kidding. get back up on top but top's gonna be that by the time we get there what's whoa what's darkening our our door here oh just the sun passing by the spaceship oh there's another energy crystal there we're, we're going for that i can't believe i couldn't see that from right there i guess oh this is a rotating one so might have been the opposite side when we were there. Okay, we've got 80%. There are only 20 more left in the world. Or at least the visible world. And it's really hard to climb rocks when they're rotating like this. Da 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 da. <laughs> Good old Blue Danube, the space song, the Flodian space song of like every generation, not just our own, every generation. Anyway, let's use our powers of, oh, not falling off, but also let's use our powers of, oh, never mind, I was going to use the, the, the new camera shtick. To, to find another branch, but we've got one right there. So that one, we're gonna try and get to that meteor there. I feel like I feel like we're more like a bee than anything now at this point. Now all we have to do is try and avoid all the rocks on the way there. That sounds so much easier than it is. Like this thing is not Actually, it's getting a little easier to control. It's going to stop being easy as soon as I say that. There we are. Oh, we're growing. We're growing. Oh, we're nearing it. There. Aw, oh, and there's the flower. There are little buds. Star seed. Oh, wow. I... I didn't think we were quite so close to the end of the game here, but I guess we are. So, yeah. What I might do. 
is uh you know what we're, we're so close and i don't want to quite end it here so what we're gonna do is we're gonna where's that brown meep thing that i found on the uh, that one island earlier i wanna i wanna see what's going on with that that guy or gal or whatever wow it's a scan that I'm gonna I'm gonna be needing for before we make the trip home. Ha! Gotcha, bud. All right, now where is the main the main island here? Or at least somewhere I can scan you more easily. Gotta hold on with both hands, or else we're kind of screwed. Actually, we're probably kind of screwed no matter what. Oh, wait, the main island's there. I'm overshooting this a lot. Oh, no. I just drowned him again. Uh, we're not going to get that scan. We're not going to get that scan. But you know what? That gives me an idea. Because we do have... There's an, ach uh, there's an achievement for drowning meeps. Drown two meeps. As morbid as it is to think of. Drown two meeps and you get the achievements. So that's what we're gonna do. No, nope, jump over the water, bud. Oh no. But that's one meep down. And we'll just, uh. Teleport down to the bottom again. Actually, you know what? I should have teleported to number two here. There we go. Now, where is meet number two is over here? Okay. And we still haven't seen sort of like an orangish bird, like the warble, but we haven't seen it yet. What? What? You're alive? How are you alive? Oh, but we got this, the, the Sheep Dipper achievement. That's for drowning two meeps. So there they are there. There's bits of me there. It was not without cost. And then they just kind of respawn, it looks like. And they're afraid of me now. I don't, I don't blame them. I'd be afraid of me, too. So what? what? I don't remember this rock formation being over here. What was this? What? There are more meeps. Or oh, there's another meep. I'm gonna free you, meep. Because I feel bad about drowning your brethren. Even though they respawn automatically. Oh, I'm holding on to two rocks there. I meant to just hold on to the one. Oh no, if I move that... Okay, I need to move this big rock first or else we're going to, like, crush him. Or her. too scared or you really don't care am I gonna are you the same thing because your AI seems to be different I'm gonna scan you just to make sure uh, the AI is starting to kick in here You're still a meep. Okay. Get out of there. You don't want to be in there. You don't want to stay there. But you're just going to stand around and stare at things. Right. Yes. So I think what we're going to do 
so we're gonna teleport up to here. And we're just gonna we're just gonna do this for a sec here. Save and quit. Hopefully it resets the the world and everything. When we can we can see about trying to get that brown meat scanned without killing it. Hopefully it'll work. It's the perfect plan. What could possibly go wrong? Uh, yeah, don't let me do accents. <laughs> don't let me do accents. I always mess them up. Or at least I always feel like I might be messing them up and I feel bad. It's like if I could do an accent like perfectly, I don't feel as bad be cool. Wait, no, is that the right island? I'm not sure it is. I'm not sure it is. It's one of these flingy plant islands. But I think maybe it's that one. They all start looking the same after a while. I know it's not that one there. It's not that one. And we need we need to borrow these spring leaves here. What do we got? It's not that. It's not that one. It's not that one. So it's either... Okay, it's one of these three right here. So let's... let's. Uh... Oh gosh. Oh gosh. I was expecting that to work. Properly. There we go. No, no, no. There we go. There we go. Okay, I don't think it's the one straight ahead there. Which leads this one or that one. And you know what? Whoa, we barely grabbed onto that one. We're just going to take a look over here. No, I don't think it's this one. I think it's that one up there. I'm really glad we have these... The, the rocket pack and the, the spring leaves. And I totally took the wrong branch there. And you know what? I might end up just doing... Okay, here's what I'm thinking. I have 20 crystals left to find. And a couple achievements yet to do. No, I think this is the wrong one. I very much think this is the wrong one. I might, I might do a, an episode, like a clip together, an episode of me just finding the last of the, the energy crystals after all. Oh, I bet it's a far one, too. As much as I don't want it to be, that's probably it. So what we might do is just go back, excuse me, up top. And uh, we'll, we'll teleport up top, and then just kind of we'll make our, our way down to whatever we think happens to be the right the right one at the time. It worked last time. It worked pretty darn well last time. I feel like I've wasted a bunch of time, but at the same time, you know what? This is one of those games where you just kind of have to, like, relax. Stop to smell the flowers. Even if they're for... If, even if they're crop flowers. Okay. 
Up to Telerider 8. Alright, alright. Uh, nope, nope, let me go, let me go, there we go. And... I'm already lost again. That one doesn't appear to be moving, that might be... a wee bit more beneficial for us. Oh no, it just didn't appear to be moving. It's very much moving. Um, there's a brown thing down there. That one straight ahead, but I don't think that's the meepy thing. There were like two levels to the one with the meep on it. So I'm gonna guess... That it is this one. Oh, we got we got a bad altitude. The achievement there. F. There we are. I don't think this is the right one either. No, this is very much not the right one. But uh, I'm not entirely sure. You know what? We're gonna we're gonna try that one straight across there. We're gonna try. We're gonna risk our lives because <laughs> every every good plan starts out with that, right? We're gonna risk our lives to use this flinga plant, the flinga flower, or what I have been calling the flinga flower. And we're gonna fling ourselves. Oh, that's too far. That's too far. I don't know. What? 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 I looked away to tr f figure out where the F key was. Because I don't use the F key for anything anymore. And I just somehow died. Okay. We're going to try that one straight ahead. It's not going to be that one. Very much so. Oop. Yes. Haha. <laughs> I think we were just going slow enough to, to grab on. Otherwise, we would have just, like, been flung right off the side. But this is definitely not... This is that one, one planetoid I was on earlier. So this is not it. Not it at all. I think it's that one straight across. Problem is making sure not to get lost on the way. Okay, let's not lose altitude. Let's keep a positive altitude here, guys. Don't be so negative. You're all pessimists. Kidding course but yeah that that falling down to to what I thought was the right one that didn't work either so we're just gonna we're just gonna climb so I feel like I, I get a better sense of which one it is from underneath I could see a bit more of the the cartography the lay of the land the layout of the island so that's what we're doing now that uh, is the current plan. And we're almost there. Ha! Um, okay, we're gonna we're gonna jack and the beanstalk our way up here. Fee five full. Ha! Huh. I feel like a like some sort of weird flea or an aphid or something. Just uh, oh, I overshot that. I overshot that. Oh, fall hour, save me! <laughs> oh gosh, goodness gracious! Okay, there we go. There, we're just gonna climb the rest of the way, save ourselves a little bit of trouble. There we go. 
And... What? What? Oh no! What? Oh. Alas, poor York. I knew him well, Horatio. Is that one gonna respawn like the, the others do? Please tell me that. <laughs> Please tell me that one respawns. I'd be, I'm gonna be really sad if, if that one doesn't respawn. Yes! Good! Yeah, Yorick's back! Alright, Yorick, you're, you've gotta... You've gotta come with me now. It's not safe here! It's not safe! See, you almost died again! This is this is like Steins Gate. But... <laughs> a little less cross-temporal. No, 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 Yorick, you have to come with me. It's, 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 it's for your own good. Now I'm holding on with both hands. And hopefully I won't let you go before you end up in a safe location here. I don't care if I die on the way down. That's just kind of a risk I'm willing to take at this point. Ooh. Oh, I'm still holding on. And I survived. That's awesome. That's amazing. Nope, come on. Come on, York. Uh, no, I'm going to have to take him down to the bottom. I have to take him downtown. Except not, because that's not quite what we're doing. Uh, and I always forget, where does this waterfall fall to? Uh, the ocean, it would, it would appear. Okay, how is it I couldn't hold on to this guy? Oh gosh. I survived. Yay. <laughs> I couldn't hold on to that guy for like three seconds the first time around. And now now I get him almost all the way down here. Uh, we're going up to number four though. Just to make sure. Where are we going? We're going this way. So that's the way it is to York. Oh, what happened to my head? What? I don't know. Uh, sometimes the things in this game are just so derp. Oh, right, right, right. I forgot about that. Okay. Now, where is York? I know you landed somewhere, York. You can't hide from me. I'd be really disappointed if I see like sheep parts in the in the water there. And having trouble deciding whether or not I want to look. Mm. <gasps> nope, nope, that's not York. That's a plant. And I uh, might be screwed, yep, I am, I died. Oh, come on, Mom, it's the end, it's near the end of the game. You can't, you can't really care that much about how many buds you're losing here. Can you? Can you really? I can't see anything now that it's nighttime. Like, nothing. Thought I lost him somewhere around this branch. I can't I can't see his eyes glowing anywhere. I can't see his horns. Because they're a pretty dark color. I can't see Diddly Squat. There are parts of me down there. At least they're not parts of York. But I'm also not seeing the whole York. So... What's going on? What's, what's the deal? What's that? 
What is that? What, no, really, like seriously, what is th that? It's not a sheep corpse, is it? What is that? Okay, you know what? I have to. I have to go over there. I have, I have to investigate. I can't just leave this mystery unsolved here. Or is it coming closer? It is. What? Oh no, that's just a plant that fell off one of the. That was that was that that, that radish or whatever that Europe was trying to eat earlier. So it's come down here. Hmm. I'm just gonna teleport back up and see if he's around. Cause this is becoming most perplexing and it worries me that I can't find head nor tail of him. In literal and figurative sense. Actually, you know what? We're gonna switch up our, our arsenal here. Got one of these hang glidey lead dealies. Oh, come on. In the, in the, there we go. Now shoot me up. There we go. Alright, now we are headed. I don't remember. Come on, I was just in there. There we go. Come on. There we are. It really bothers me that I can't remember where the heck that island was. Is that one? No. No. Oh, bother. Okay, we're gonna just glide over here. Catch an updraft, maybe, if we're lucky. I can't see what I'm doing with that camera. And then we're just gonna... Oh, yes! Haha! <laughs> That's what this reminds me of. This reminds me of A Bug's Life. We got this sort of gangly, scrawny... mechanical looking character okay so if we know if Yurik's here then he despawned or died or something down below but if he's not here oh yeah he's here so he died again no no oh that was close Yorick Yorick I'm doing this for your own good See those eyeballs? Those are your eyeballs. I don't want those to be your eyeballs again. Okay, so holding on to his bottom. Got a good grip on his rear. And we're just gonna take him to that bit, a little in between the the Y of the vines here. I don't know if we're going over time with this video. I really don't. I don't. I don't. Yeah, I don't even care at this point. Oh, yeah, alright, so you're here. You're safe. I just need to scan you and you can you can be free as a bird. Except that warble. He he seems to be very much into just sticking to that cave. Alright, alright, what do we got? We have got the Arctic Meep. Uh, Arctic Meep has adapted to the snowier areas of the environment perfectly. A little sure of foot, darker wool to extract more heat from the sunlight. That lovely widow face. Every time, every time mom gets funny around animals. Shun sunlight. 
and the snip and the red and spiky plant near salt water likes the shade. How have I not found that yet? Well, at any rate, guys, uh, thanks for stopping by. I'm going to end this episode. It's been a longer, longer grow home episode, but, you know, it's good to have one of those once in a while, you know? Uh, thanks for stopping by. Don't forget to eat your vegetables so you can grow, if you're still growing, of course. And I will uh, see, you, see you next time. Have a good whatever time of day it is. Goodbye!